C4 Waterman presents the Steinlager Shaka Longboard Series at Alamoana Bowls. This is part two of the two-part series. We're going to show you a little bit of the repo round and the finals of the stand-up paddle surfing division. Let's start things off with the repo round. The repo round allows you to reposition yourself, hopefully, into the finals. We're starting things off here with Jason Miyamura. He's taking this wave on into the inside, looking for a cover-up. Gets a cover-up on the backside. Out back we have Brandon Bradley. He's our youngest competitor in today's event. Really ripping things up. Whipping that long board around as if it's a short board. And it's probably twice his height. Coming in from the outside we have Kalai Fernandez. Sticking his board up against the crumbling wave there. You hear that little voice? That's Kalai's little fan club. It's his son. Hey, Shaka little buddy. Up next we have Mel Poo. Getting a close out on his back there, but sticking with the power of the wave. Taking that board all the way to the inside is Titus Kinimaka laying back on that paddle. Here comes Kimo Miranda getting himself in position, getting ready for the Jedi paddle spin. And there's Brandon Bradley. He got the most waves in this heat. Probably going to advance to the finals. Followed closely behind by Kalai Fernandez. The nice cut back there. I asked him how it was surfing with someone twice his junior. How's it, Kalai Fernandez? Uh, stand up division. Waves pretty good. Looks like the little guys got it though. <laughs> After a stellar performance out there, Brandon Bradley's hoping to move on to the finals. But we all know that the judges make the final call here. And it looks like they're going to advance Jason Miyamura in red and Titus Kinamaka, who takes second place in this heat. And Kalai Fernandez takes first, moving on to the finals. Now we're going to mix things up. Thanks to Ivan Van Buren right there giving us a shaka. He's going to go out in the water. I'm going to keep my feet dry on land and use his doubler, getting us a little closer to the action. Let's get things started in the final round here with Titus Kinamaka. I asked Titus about his unique style of switching that paddle. It's about less, less movement, you know? And so I cut, my move, I cut my moves down by passing my paddle behind my back because uh, I don't have to fondle, play around with it in the front and get stumble around in the front. So it's easier for me to slip it around my back and sh shift sides because I ride both ways, uh, goofy foot and regular foot. So it's easier for me to make a transition behind my back rather than shifting, shuffling it in the front, you know, get tangled up in the front. It's easier for me to get right in my, right in my spot both ways. So, so I wonder. I guess just might have a name for his own unique style. Yes, it's the slide behind the back action. <laughs> well, that works for me. Speaking of working, here comes Todd Bradley working his way in from the outside, getting a critical part of the wave there. After a couple tail slides and a couple deep strokes, he gets his toes up on the nose. The wave passes him by, still getting some points on that one. Here comes Aleo Kinimaka, two-time winner, looking to regain the crown in this competition here. Swinging that board all the way around on a nice roundhouse there. Nice taking this wave all the way into the inside, setting up for a classic pose here. It's the Jedi Tiki. Six competitors in the water today. It's time to introduce you to another one. It's Igor Lemertz. I asked him how it felt to be in the finals. Oh, I feel good. I, I couldn't believe I was in the finals because uh, they said the first guy in the heat goes straight to the finals. Yeah. So I'm stoked on that, and uh, now I'm gonna. We'll see what's gonna happen. Yeah. So in the finals, he advanced from the repo round. It's Jason Miyamura. 
getting ready to set up for a nice cover up here. Can he do it? Dropping to his knee, grabbing that rail. Getting a shoulder cover up, that's good enough for fifth place. From the repo round to the finals, he should be pretty stoked with that. Speaking of the repo round competitors in the finals, here's another one, it's Kali Fernandez. But he's not getting too much off this wave here. Maybe there'll be a couple more in this heat before it's over, get some points. Titus Kinimaka was raking in the waves today, getting the most waves in this heat. But we're coming close to the end of the heat here, so let's start wrapping things up. Kalai Fernandez will take home a sixth place. And here comes Titus Kinimaka. He just flew in from France back home to the islands, taking home a fourth place. Pretty good job there. Take jet lag into consideration. Out there on the outside is Todd Bradley. He's been getting a lot of ways in this heat too, scoring some really big points. We'll have to see how that turns out. There's Igor Lemertz. He got second place, finding a couple hollow waves. This is his first finals in the C4 stand-up division. He did pretty good. Also scoring some nice points and doing good himself. Laleo Kinimaka taking home third place. And that only leaves us one other competitor. It's Todd Bradley out there on the outside looking for a cover-up. Nice barrel ride. Oh, as nice as it's going to get on a day like this, I asked him how it was to advance all the way to the finals. After having competed in the previous three contests at Sunset Flies in Queens, now he's taking home first place. Well, you know, it's a tough heat out here. You got the best of the best. The Leo, Titus, Igor came in, in from the North Shore. He's an incredible surfer, stand-up paddler. So, you know, you, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I mean, all them on a ball. It would have been cool if it was kind of dredgy big, but it's still fun and such a clean, perfect wave. And nice to be going a left. That was different for me. <laughs> I asked him if he thought that that barrel ride locked in first place. Um, was able to select some good waves. There were kind of few and far between, so I tried to just pick some that were trying to swing a little bit. And seeing earlier that it was kind of hollow on the inside, I thought if I could grab a little tube ride, that might help my, um, my score or something. So I kind of was hunting for that little tube ride. I want to give big mahalos to Andres Oberg for contributing this music to the show. Please support the musicians who support this show. And that will wrap up this contest here at All Moana Bowls. Thank you very much for downloading all four contests of the Steinlager Shaka Longboard Series at All Moana Bowls brought to you by C4 Waterman. Stop by their website for all your stand-up paddle needs. I'm your host, Tommy Stokes, saying aloha. All right.